Question 1A. In the table, include the following items. First, the frequency of compounding M for annually, semi-annually, quarterly, and monthly. The final answer of all of them is 1, 2, 4, and 12. Second, the rate per period, which is K divided by M. From the question, you know that K is 7% or 0.07. So, 0.07 divided with annually, semi-annually, quarterly, and monthly. And then, you will get the final answer for the rate of period. Third, the numbers of conversion period M or the power of M multiplied by T. So, from the question, you know that T is 8 years. So, 8 multiplied with annually, semi-annually, quarterly, and monthly. And you will get the final answer. It is 8, 16, 32, and 96. Fourth, the compound amount. The formula for the compound amount is S equals to P bracket 1 plus K divided by M bracket the power of M multiplied by T. From the question, you know that P is 25,000. So, the final answer for annually is 42,954 and 65 cent. For semi-annually, it is 43,349 and 65 cent. For quarterly, it is 43,555 and 34 cent. And last, monthly, it is 43,695 and 66 cents. Last, the compound interest. The formula for the compound interest is I equal to S subtract with P. So, the final answer for the annually it is 17,954 and 65 cents. For semi annually, it is 18,349 and 65 cents. For quarterly, it is 18,555 and 34 cents. And last monthly is 18,695 and 66 cents. For the question B, make a conclusion for the amount of interest. The answer is the more the interest compounded within a year, the more amount of interest will gain. Question 2A. What is the savings amount left in Jimmy's account at the end of the fifth year? First, you have to find the future value after two years. Apply all the important information in the formula. 3,500 times by 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 4 to the power of 4 times 2. Then you will get the final answer which is 3865 ringgit and 70 cents. Then you have to find the amount that he had left after the withdraw. 0 0.7 times 3865 ringgit and 70 cents. You will get the answer is 2705 ringgit and 99 cents. After you find the new P, apply it to the formula to find the new future value after 3 years. Then you will get the answer which is 3140 ringgit and 70 cents. Now look at the question B. First, 3140 ringgit and 99 cents plus with 5000 to get the new amount that he deposited at the end of the fifth year. Secondly, apply it to the formula to find the total amount after four years. And the final answer is 9,931 ringgit and 11 cents. For question three, RM6000 was invested for six years. The bank offered 4.5% compounded monthly for the first four years and 3% compounded every four months for the rest of the period. If the total amount in the account at the end of the 6th year was RM7929.57, find the nominal interest rate, K% compounded every 4 months. First, you need to state all the information that important, then substitute all the known values inside the formula. Use the root to solve the question to get the best answer. Solve it until you get the final answer which it would be K equals to 5%. Based on the answer in 3A, after 3 years, the investment was worth RM13,019.89. Determine the value of T from the first saving. First, state all the information that is important. Then, substitute all the known values inside the formula. Until you reach the part where you have to use logarithm concept, apply log for both sides. 
Ring Treaty, which is the power lock of 1.01666667 to the front. Divide lock 1.6419492 with lock 1.01666667. Until you got the final answer, which it would be 30. Round out the number so you would get t equals to 10 years. First question find the monthly payment of the loan for each bank. This question is about NUP because it mentioned about regular payment. So, we have to use the NUP formula. There's two formula in this chapter which have been stated before. We have to use the first formula because the question doesn't mention anything about future value. You have to state all the information that have been given. And then, you can substitute all the information inside the formula. After that, you can solve the question until you get the final answer. The final answer for bank ABM is 1,366 ringgit and 88 cents. And repeat the same step until you get the final answer for bank ECM. The final answer will be 1,127 ringgit and 76 cents. Second question, find the amount of interest charged by each bank. Because we used the present value formula in the first question, so there's only one formula to find the amount of interest for each of banks, which is I equals to R in bracket MT minus E. First, you have to state all the information, after that, substitute all the information inside the formula. Solve it carefully until you got the final answer. The final answer for bank ABM is 14,817 digits and 92 cents. Repeat the same step for bank ECM until you got the final answer, which is 21,798 digits and 8 cents. Third question, take the advantages for the advantages for, of choosing bank ABM. For this question, which is the advantages for choosing bank ABM, which is shorter long term and lower interest rate. Fourth question, take the advantages or disadvantages for choosing bank ECM. And for this question, which is which choose disadvantages for choosing bank ECM, which is longer long term and higher interest rate. As usual, you have to state all the information first. Based on the information, you have to use the future value information because they have been given amount of the future value, which is 50,000. After you state all the information, substitute the information inside the formula. So be careful. But until we have reached at this point, we cannot solve the question regularly. Instead, we have to use the logarithm. As usual, you have to state all the information first. Based on the information, you have to use the future value information. You have to put the log symbol for both sides and then bring the 60 which is the power for log 10 1.008 to the front. After that, divide log 10 1.4 with log 10 1.008 until you get the answer. T will be 7.0278402.9. Round up the number until you get 7.04. The final answer will be T approximate 7 years.